Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're going to take a look at basic use of the AIM-9 Sidewinder heat seeking missile. The Sidewinder missiles can be carried in pairs on pylons 2 and 8, as indicated by 2 left, 2 right, 8 left, and 8 right. If carrying other munitions such as air to ground weapons on stations 2 or 8, then the special weapons adapter must be used as shown here in this part where it says special weapons adapters. That's true for air to ground missiles and bombs. However, pods and rockets do not have an option for the special weapons adapters and if using either of those you will not be able to carry the AIM-9 Sidewinder. The Heatbler F4E Phantom II module includes nine different variations of the AIM-9 Sidewinder. It includes the Bravo, Juliet, Julie, Lima, Mike, Papa, Papa 3, Papa 5, and the Captive AIM-9M. The Captive AIM-9M is used for training purposes, including a mic variation of the Seeker Head, but it will not launch and has no motor. The AIM-9 Bravo and Juliet models are rear aspect only heat-seeking missiles. The Bravo was introduced in 1958 and produced until 1962. Roughly 80,000 of them were produced. They first saw action in 1958 when launched from an F-86 Sabre against a MiG-15. The AIM-9 Juliet was introduced in 1972. Roughly 6,700 of them were produced. And the AIM-9 Juliet is an upgraded version of the AIM-9 Echo with some solid state electronics and a longer burning motor. The AIM-9 Lima is the first all aspect Sidewinder missile. It was introduced in 1977. It was first used in combat in the Gulf of Sidra incident in 1981. However, its biggest use may have been the Falklands, where it scored an impressive 80% hit rate. The AIM 9 Mike was introduced in 1983 as an improved L variant. It has better countermeasure defense and a slightly longer range than the Lima. The Papa series and the Julie AIM 9 are export versions of the AIM-9 Sidewinder. The AIM-9 Julie is essentially a J model that was upgraded with a Lima seeker head, hence Julie, Juliet Lima. The original Papa series missile was introduced in 1978 as an export version of the Juliet. The Papa 3 was introduced later with several improvements and finally, the Papa 5 was essentially an export variant of the AIM-9 Mike. There are three controls you should bind to use the AIM-9 Sidewinder. First, you should bind the gun missile pinky switch heat. This is the switch that allows you to toggle into and use the heat-seeking missiles, rather than the radar-seeking or gun weapons. Next, you should bind the air refuel AAR release button. This is the button switch that is used to uncage the seeker head of the AIM-9 Sidewinder. Finally, you will need the trigger in order to launch the AIM-9 Sidewinder. In order to use any of the variants of the AIM-9 Sidewinder, there are a few things you need to do in the cockpit. It's relatively simple. Toggle the master arm and make sure your gun sight is in air-to-air -air mode. Once that is done, use the pinky switch to enable the heat weapon selection here. I will demonstrate with a few variations of the missiles because they each behave a little bit differently. We'll start with the AIM-9 Bravo. The AIM-9 Bravo does not have a uncageable seeker head, so the AAR button is not necessary for this. Once you get tone, you fire. The AIM-9 Bravo has poor countermeasure rejection, so it will likely go after flares. Master arm on. Switch to heat. We'll go after our target. You must maneuver onto your bandit six o'clock position before you can get a lock and fire. Pull the trigger to fire, and it will probably bite off on flares. Non-flaring target, it tracks, and hit. The Juliet version of the AIM-9 has a better seeker head than the 
Bravo and can be caged and uncaged. However, it has an interesting effect when it is uncaged and locked on a target. Because of the way the seeker head is designed, instead of getting a high-pitched growl, you will get nothing out of the missile. That silence can be a little disconcerting when you're used to the standard growl of the Sidewinder when it has acquired a target. In this case, that means it has a lock. There, that null is it has a lock, but we don't hear anything. Now it's lost lock because we hear again. Firing a missile, it has a track. Will likely bite off on the on the um, uh, flares. Good flying. We're on a six. Bandit is down. The Lima and Mike versions are both all aspect missiles. The use and employment of them is essentially the same. I will demonstrate the mic version of the missile here, and we can see that as all aspect, it will be a lot easier for me to get a lock, and the missile will have a higher hit rate. With the mic in Lima, once I acquire a lock, we will get the standard high pitch growl we expect from the Sidewinder. Still too far away for a shot. Closing with the target. Let's see how it does from here. And hit, even with all those flares. And that's what I have for you on the AIM-9 Sidewinder. I hope you have a great rest of your day.